guys I showed in an earlier video. I basically took the front leveling feet off this fridge and made a mount so it's bolted down to this cabinet. But I don't want this thing to be able to tip over. And I'll say, just putting those on, it's pretty darn solid on there, but I'm gonna make a bracket in here where that roller is so I can put it in there like that and bolt the back end down so that there's no way it can tip forward. So I just took this, uh, whatever you call this U-channel and I'll just cut this uh, part of this front leg off so that that, so that that lays down there better and I'll just drill a hole back here and bolt it right through the cabinet and tighten it up on the inside. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, I think these are gonna work. I can just stick that one right there. Stick that right there and put the bolts down through. Wait, well, now I haven't, haven't interfered with any of that mechanical stuff. I'm just locking it down where the rollers were. Just need to go get some two inch bolts and I think I'll have this thing anchored down. That'll be what's up YouTube! Let's see here. Ah oh, shoot. I didn't drill the right size hole. Okay, I think I got the right size bit this time. I think these are gonna work great. I just have to wait for Shelly to get back because I can't tighten this nut and uh, from the other side. So when Shelly gets back, I'll put the nuts and the washers on the inside and the back end of this fridge will be locked in place. Which one are we doing first? The one uh, toward the door. The front door? No, yeah, the front door. It's a long way back in here. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right. Oh, you're uh, doing it right on that little lip. You are so smart, honey. You're getting there. That's good, huh? Yeah. That, that ain't going nowhere. Awesome. Right. Yeah, she's solid. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the cord up. Got it? Yeah, and then just push your back corner over that way. There you are, you're up against the wall. I planned it out that way. Right at the... So now it's got the gap so the air can circulate behind it. So once we get the sliding door in, then we can determine how close that's gonna go that way. And there's two studs back there where we can lag bolt the cabinet into the wall. So that's actually been planned out pretty well. And check it, check out the back here. I mean, he really figured this out. There's the cord and there's the gap for air circulation. So I actually think once that base is lag bolted in, it's pretty doggone solid, but I'm curious how many of you think I should anchor it up here somehow. Or, or, maybe, or the back. Maybe right here at the back corner. Yeah. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> 
So guys, check out our fridge. It's we full of food. <laughs> believe it or not, it was it was a. Uh, was a little questionable. I was a little nervous when we moved into it. I was like, oh no, is it all gonna fit? But this fridge is awesome. Um, tons of freezer space. It all fit, and we had we had room to spare. So. It's a win-win. Yeah, I love it. I even got my kombucha in there, which I don't have all the time, so. Yeah. And our son just dropped off two wonderful bags of um, Garden Fresh lettuce. Veggie Man is here. Hey, Veggie Man. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you doing? Did you bring me my fresh lettuce? Oh, fresh lettuce? Yeah, two sacks. Cherries, too. Fresh, <laughs> organic lettuce. Ooh, baby, Ooh. Those, you, those make Ooh. you... Gassy, you probably better than me. <laughs> hey, hey, that's not true. I can eat my share, but oh, look at this fresh grown lettuce. Oh, we are loving this. Thanks, honey. Yeah. Yep, no problem. <laughs> We've been eating that lettuce sack, and it is. I put it in tacos. It was awesome in tacos. So, anyway, um, we love sharing the journey with all of you, and um, just know that we are grateful for your love and support and we will catch you guys in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.